Hello, today I want to talk about uh, access control lists and access control lists are used for filtering traffic based on a given filtering criteria on a router or switch interface. Uh, it's also a standard access list uh, which allows you to permit or deny traffic from specific IP address. Uh, you can deny an IP address to access uh, uh, the server, the web browser. You can deny the IT on different uh, 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 reasons. Uh, some reasons, uh, some uh, some reasons is like if someone uh, opted to go for a leave, uh, he or she can just you know, guys, can you just block my 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 my, my computer? Uh, then you unblock it when I return for my vacation. Uh, it's possible, or for some security reasons. IT can even block the uh, certain IP addresses to access certain areas or even to access the browser or YouTube or whatever the IT thinks of blocking. So we are going to assign these uh, IP um, addresses in, uh, in our router. We're going to appoint those two IP addresses and our server, those I see, and those three PCs. So let's go. Let's take our router, put it there. Uh, let's check our PCs, which means we need uh, three, at least three PCs, and we need uh, a server. Uh, let's put it here. Let's put it here. Let's put it here. Let's put our server here. Let's put uh, our switch there. Let's uh, just connect them. Let's run through the cables. 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 Then on this on this server we put a crossover. We put a crossover. A crossover cable. So let's quickly uh let's quickly assign these ip addresses uh to the species uh, let's start with our let's start with our let's just quickly assign ip addresses 192.168.20.20 uh then this one 192. no uh, 12.1, 12.0, 0.1. Uh, then we go to this one. Then we put uh, our IP address, which is 12.0.0.2, uh, which is 12.0.0.1, uh, which is 12.0.0.2. Uh, let's assign this one, uh, uh, which is uh, 192.168.20.30, um, 12.0.0.1, and uh, 12.0.0.2. Let's go to this one very quick. Uh, 192.168.20.30.40 uh, um, 192.168.20.20 um, 12.0.0.2 Let's go to our last one uh, 192.168.20.50 One nine two dot one six eight dot twenty dot twenty uh point zero point zero point two uh we are done with our configuration we have assigned our IP addresses. Let's just test whether this IP address can ping to our server. 
0.2. Let's just wait. Yes, it is. It is connected to our server. Let's just check the our website on our server. On our website on our server, it's working. So what we are going to do is uh, it shows that uh, everything is okay. It's working well. So what we need to do here is to block one IP address. When you block one one IP address we'll check whether it is still accessing the server or not then when you do that we have to have another process of unblocking it then we are block it and then test it whether it is accessing our website you saw that this one is accessing our website uh this one is accessing our website it's accessing our website so we want to block it and also it is pinging it is pinging It is pinging our sites, our other IPs. If you check, if you check how many packets we send four packets here, we send four packets, we receive four, four packets, we lost zero. So let's go and see and block it. Let's go and uh, block it. Let's go and block it. Uh, control Z. Uh, config T. Um, then we IP access IP access list standard D. So the range of the IP IP access list standard D is from one to 99 uh, we need to check it together let's put a question mark here you saw here you see here it's 1 to 99 that's our range so we need to put here we'll put any from 1 up to 99 let's just put 10 then we say deny host uh, one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty dot thirty. We just want to deny this to access our website. Then permit. We need to permit uh, any any IP address. Then uh, when we permit, so we say exit. Say exit. Then now when we exit, we go on interface. Interfaces f zero by zero then we say ip access access group access group we say 10 in 10 in then we say exit we say exit the one you say exit control z then show show access list here, yeah, if you check here, we have denied access. We have denied access to the host IP 192.168.20.30. So we just want to test it. Let's let's test it whether we have blocked it really. 192.1268.20.30. Uh, we cannot access. You see, server reset connection so which means this ip address has been blocked even if you want to run the config ip config here um ip config ip uh, ping let's ping let's ping here 192.168.20.20 you see the destination was the unreachable Packet sent four, received zero, lost four. What about our server? Ping at 4.0.0.2. Our server, our server here is also unreachable. Packet sent, packet sent here, four, received zero, lost four. 100% loss. 
A reply unreachable. You see? So what we need to do here, we need to allow it again. We need to give this host the access again. So config t um, config t access ip access standard d we put 10 put 10 ip access standard d ip access standard d 10 then no deny host 192.168.20.30 you see, so control Z show access list enter standard D access list 10, which means no IP which is uh, which is blocked. So what we need to do here, we need to check. Uh, we need to check here 12.0.0.2.0.2. Then we check our website. Uh, it shows that our website is uh, it's working. So we can run the IP config here. We can run the IP config. We can ping 12.0.0.2. Uh, um, which shows that the system is working there, our IP address is connecting to other servers. So uh, the network is up. So we can as well ping 192.168.20.20. Um, it shows that our IP is up now, sent and receive loss zero. We sent four packets, we received four packets, we lost zero. So that's how uh, this access control list works. Uh, you can block an IP address, you can unblock it. It depends with what, what you want to do. It's for uh, the security uh, of uh, either the client or the organization. They need to block some other users. They need to block some other user to access some other websites. Uh, uh, that's the that's the system. That's how this uh, ACL works. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like the video and share. For those who are doing CCNA. It's your advantage. You can just go through it, practice it uh, day in, day out. Uh, you'll get it. For those IP, uh, IT experts, you can use it in your area. You can use it in your organization. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.